Hey guys, it's Coach Mike Ryan, Fastball USA, and I still hear out there oftentimes uh, players uh, being emphasized on turning their back foot or uh, what used to be called squishing the bug, and I guess evidently uh, it still is. So uh, squishing the bug or spinning on the back foot or just turning the back foot is not at all what big league hitters do. So let's take a look at uh, a couple of really good hitters and let's see how they move. So this is uh, both hitters right as their stride foot is landing. So uh, this is not their batting stand. So let's take a look at uh, the hitter on the left here. And what I really want you to pay attention to is how he comes off his back foot. This is really important, especially this first movement. And you're going to find that it's not what uh, many coaches are preaching out there. So now, uh, if you watch uh, the back foot, it, I, I guess the first place to start is watch the back knee. And if you watch the back knee in relation to the back foot, you're gonna, the back knee starts to kind of uh, slot inwards. And right about here, you're going to notice the weight shifts to the inside part of his back foot. The weight is towards the inside of his foot. He is not turning his foot. So if I play that back and you, you can kind of see that, watch how the knee starts to go inwards. The weight starts to shift to the side, the inside of his foot. And then within a couple frames here, you're going to see that a little bit more uh, dramatically that you'll notice that when his foot is coming up, it is not turning at all whatsoever. So he's not spinning on his back foot. He's shifting his weight to the inside of his back foot. And then you'll look at when he starts to come up, he comes up towards uh, kind of to the big toe. And then in this case, it releases forward. So watch how that works. It, sh it slots in and then forward as he goes into contact. Now, um, I've done a lot of video analysis over the years where a lot of times a parent uh, or even a player is a little bit taken back by how the back foot actually works because they're told that's not exactly how they were taught. Now, the other thing is the front leg will act like a, a brace and start to brace up for the hitter as he starts to go forward. So watch how the weight shifts uh, in, and you'll see the foot almost turn sideways, and then it releases forward into contact. Now, not every hitter, will that back foot will, will release, but you're going to see every hitter shift to the weight to the inside and at least come up to the very tip of their shoe, in a sense, uh, but they will not be on the ball of their foot, and they will not be spinning their foot all the way around to the point where their shoelaces are facing the third baseman, right? So the weight shifts in and then up. It releases for most hitters, and that is a movement that actually helps hitters stay inside the ball. So if you've got a coach on you about, uh, say, uh, that you're pulling off the ball or you're uh, getting around the ball, you're not staying inside the ball, and at the same time, he's allowing you to over rotate on your back foot and over rotation to me simply would be to me would be getting to the outside of your foot, meaning kind of to the pinky toe with the shoelaces facing the shortstop of the third baseman that would be over rotating as you're going to and through contact. So look at the hitter on the right and you'll see a very similar thing. So as he's landing, you're going to see the, how the weight will shift to the inside part of his foot. You can see the action of the back leg and going back to the picture on the left, you'll see how similar that starts to look as they go back. And then now take a look once again to the back to that back foot. It starts to shift to the inside part of the foot and up and then releases going into contact. So watch that again. It shifts in and then up and releases. The back foot does not spin. And again, over spinning on it will create over rotation. So the critical point here is mo most hitters that uh, don't do this well, they will immediately rotate their foot and get to the outside of their back foot. Outside meaning they'll shift their weight towards their little toe in a sense. They'll, they'll spin it. Where here you see how the weight shifts in and then releases forward. And this is what helps hitters stay inside the ball because if you kind of see there, when the weight shifts in, the barrel and the bat and the hands have a tendency to follow what the lower half does. So uh, now taking this a step further, it's it's really when you think of, of turning and rotating, it starts here 
in that area. When the back hip starts to initially move, really what's happening to the back foot is the hitter is resisting the back foot from turning. That's right. You're resisting the back foot from turning, and that's what sets this up. When we start moving in here, in other words, when we start turning in the midsection in the hips, the back foot will then eventually come up. If you notice how much already the knee is in and how much the hip is turned and how much the belt buckle is turned, you'll notice now, now the back foot will follow and it'll come forward. And again, not every back foot will come forward like that, although that is probably the most common thing we see with big league hitters. So once again, we want to squish the bug on the concept of squishing the bug, right? That concept of uh, just rotate on your back foot, the concept of spinning on your back foot is not a good one. And we still see it being taught uh, to hitters today. Now, as you guys probably know, if you follow baseball, this is Miguel Cabrera on the right. You see how he shifts in and then releases into contact. Uh, the guy on the left was Manny Ramirez. This is, I believe, was in the All-Star game uh, back in around 2009, I believe. So you can see how he shifts in and then he gets through right there. So this is the look that we're looking for. Uh, and again, it's confusing instruction when you got uh, people trying to tell you to kind of just turn your foot or over rotate your foot uh, or squish the bug. Yet at the same time, they're trying to tell you keep your hands inside the ball, keep the knob inside the ball, all of that. That's conflicting instruction. That is literally your upper half working ag against your bottom half. If you do the lower half well, it is much easier to get the upper half right uh, as long as you're in the proper sequence. If you have any questions on this, shoot me an email, fastballusa at hotmail.com, and check out our website at fastballusa.com.